This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, today we're going to take a look at the John Deere, the 6030 Premium Series. This mod can be found over at modhub.us, and there will be a link in the description below. This mod has all kinds of configuration options. It is, it is just completely mind-boggling at how many configuration options this mod has. Now, when you go to download this mod, it is fairly sized at uh, being over 100 megabytes in size. And for a Farm Sim 19 mod, that is pretty darn big, uh, especially when you fact that we're talking about just a single tractor here. But this thing has lots of configuration options, lots of add-ons, and quite frankly, lots of nice, pretty eye candy. First thing you might notice is we've got, well, the driver's door, the other door, and uh, the rear window are all openable. Open and close those with mouse controls. Got choice of um, three point and PTO in the front. Or we have an option for weights on the front. And we have all kinds of configuration bling. We've got a, a hood ornament, a John Deere hood ornament option. We've got GPS. We've got a Yara. Yara thing up there. I honestly don't know what that does. You can also get some terminals inside the cab. This thing has all kinds of sweetness. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in the shop. Go to vehicles and then medium tractors. Scrolling all the way over here. The JD 6030 Premium. Starts out at 129 horsepower. Or sorry, $129,000 for 115 horsepower. 250 liters of fuel and 50 liters of def and this tractor has a top speed of 31 miles per hour now let's start looking at the configurations first off we have a standard configuration uh, which relates to the front weight pack here no weights and then the pin hitch go with a 450 kilogram weight pack 900 kilogram weight pack or front hydraulic pack, which, give, which gives you three-point on the front and PTO, as well as hose hookups. We also have several wheel configurations. Lots of wheel configurations, actually. Let's take a look at that. We have Trelleberg Standard. We have wide tires. Now take a look here at the rear, rear rim specifically. We have back wheels ring. Not sure what that does. I have an interesting thing. Now take a look at the tires here. Because we're going to go to extra wide tires. Kind of jump a little bit in the front. Out a little wider. It's a little hard to see. Then we have back wheels ring again on these a little bit wider variants. We have narrow Trillerbergs. We have rear twins, so we've got the standard and then a narrow. And then we have twin wheels all around, which gives us the standard and the narrows in the front also for the Trelleberg option. Let's go to Michelin tires. And again, we have standard, wide, back, wheel, rings. Go wide tires again. Not really sure why we have two options there. The numbers on the tires are the same. Back wheels ring again. Narrow tires. So we don't often see narrow Michelins. Usually we only see narrow Rillaberg options. Go rear twins. Now we see it say Trillaberg here. Sneak a peek on the inside. See that these are still Michelin tires on the front. I don't know if I'll be able to catch the light well enough. Basically, see that they are Michelin tires on the rear, also, just with the narrow Trellerbergs. And then we can go twin wheels all around. And again, we have Michelins on the inside and Trellerberg on the outside. 
Then we have the Midas tires. Standard, wide, continental tires, back wheels ring with continentals, rear twins, Midas tires on the front and on the inside, and Trelleberg options on the rear, and then twir twin wheels, again Midas on the inside, Trelleberg on the outside, back to standard. And then we have design, standard design, GPS, puts a GPS sensor up here, and a GPS terminal in cab. See that? Warning signs. We lose the GPS, we lose the terminal, but we add warning signs in the rear. Yara in sensor. I don't really know what that thing is, but we get a Yara in sensor. GPS and warning signs, so we get our GPS terminal and dome and warning signs together. GPS and Yara. Warning signs and Yara. And then full equipment. So we have the GPS, the Yara, and the warning signs. We have design without beacon light. Add a beacon here on the left. Add a beacon on the left and the right. And this is where the bling starts. Get a deer bonnet. Deer on the bonnet. It's a little deer emblem here. See it's gone. There's a little deer emblem. And then we can get terminals. We get some equipment terminals mounted in the cab. Let's go with that. And then engine setups. We have the 6530P for premium. 115 horsepower. 6630P. 130 horsepower. 6830p, 140 horsepower, 6930p, 150 horsepower, and then we're back to the 6530p, 115 horsepower. As far as front loader attachers, we can have none. We can go with John Deere attacher. Go with Stoll attacher. Go with a Hauer attacher. Or we can go with a Trima Quickie attacher. Lots of different options there. Also, let's go ahead and lease one of these up. Head on over here. Take a little closer look at it. Anybody knows what the Yara in sensor does? Be a little interesting. No, it looks like it's got cameras on the sides. It's kind of a uh, sensor to see, kind of make sure you're in your lane or something. Been looking cab. We got animation on the uh, steering stack. Turn it on. There's our GPS terminal. Here is our, all of our other equipment terminals. We have Crone, Blimpkin, Amazon, and Coon. You have well, internal lights. If we go forward, our accelerator pedal moves, and then our little lever there to the right also moves. Brakes work, accelerator works. Now, if we take a look here at our mouse controls, left click, up and down. We'll open and close the left door. Left and right will open and close rear window. Then right click up and down will open and close right door. Okay. Let's take a look at the lights. Our first stage lights. Second stage lights. Third stage lights. Very, very bright lights on this stuff. Turn on our beacons. Four ways. Front and rear. Left and right blinkers. Have kind of some floating seat also. Chips left and right.
Our animated driver is moving the lever shift there with his arm. Guys, there you go. We have the John Deere 6030 Premium. And this mod can be found over at modhub.us. There is a link in the description below. Guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this mod? And until next time, happy farming.